weirdest part, honestly, is the hi guys, welcome to my channel. Really? Because my face looks so weird when I say it. Hi guys, welcome to... Hi guys, welcome. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to answer all the questions that you guys sent me about my tongue split. So, I posted on my Instagram and my Facebook asking you guys what you wanted to know. Um, and I got a whole bunch of interesting questions. So, I'm going to read them off my phone. We will start with this one. Did you get it to enhance your sexual performance? No, I didn't. That's just obviously one of the perks of it, but that wasn't my reason for doing it. That would be that would be a major, you know, commitment just to please other people. But um yeah. Why did you do it? People ask me this all the time and I think it's such an absurd question. Like why does anyone do anything? Because they want to. So I wanted to do it. I mentioned it in my first video, um, surprise I got my tongue split. And basically I first saw it in a Guinness Book of World Records, whatever that's called, you guys know what I'm talking about. I think it was the lizard man who had it, I could be wrong, but I was just so fascinated by it as a kid and then obviously as I got older, um, I loved it still, so I wanted to get it done. It just so happened to be that Russ was coming to town and I just booked with him and we took it from there. What is the need for this? I wanted it, so I did it. Obviously there's no need. It's just one of those things. It's like asking someone like, what's the need for piercing your ears or getting a tattoo? These are horrible, excuse them, but they're clovers. They mean a lot to me, but anyways, um, yeah next question did it hurt how bad was the pain obviously it hurt it's surgery you're cutting something in half um and how bad was the pain i tell everyone giving birth honestly hurts less like i recovered from birth like that it was fine both times and with my tongue split honestly i did not expect so much pain and I'm not saying this to scare you guys. I actually would tell anyone who wants to do it to go and do it because it is my favorite body mod by far. And I love it so much. I don't regret it at all. And no, I'm not gonna regret it years to come. I'll probably still be making videos and you guys can ask me that again later on. Since splitting your tongue, can you say tongue twisters better? Like Sally sells seashells by the seashore. So she shall, wow. She sells seashells by the seashore. <laughs> no, I, I say that fine. Um, it didn't affect my uh, ability to do tongue twisters at all. Does it make changes to your taste? Um, at this point, no, but right after I healed, so like a week later, um, I was really craving sushi and then I found that when I ate it, it did not taste the same at all. And they say that you can lose some taste buds, but it's fine because they regrow. So food did taste different afterwards. It wasn't as good, um, but that was really short lived and I'm back to normal now. Did you get it done for more YouTube views? Definitely not. My plan after I got my tongue split was that I wasn't even going to tell anyone and I was going to keep it a secret that way. I just felt like it would be more special like if I met someone and then like I could be like surprise I have my tongue split but um, I figured why not put it on my channel it's a pretty unique thing not everyone does it so I'm glad I shared it with everyone next question is it a good filtering system if people get weird about it do you feel like you know they're not your type definitely I haven't come across any really negativity from men um some women are like iffy about it and the one the men that are like freaked out about it are kind of still intrigued it's like an interesting thing um but yeah it is a good filtering system because i feel like if someone judges you based off of tattoos or piercings or any other body mods they're obviously you know not really 
they're obviously not really <laughs> you can't I got distracted um if people judge you off of those things obviously um they have poor judgment because you can never judge someone based on the way they look only if they're not vegan unless they're not <laughs> vegan <laughs> continue okay um what did your parents and family and the people around you say? So I didn't tell people really before I did it. I just went and got it done. And my family hasn't really said much. It's kind of been, <laughs> it's kind of been like a, I don't know the word, like, no, it's like not talked about. It's like an elephant in the room. Yeah, the elephant in the room, exactly. And my friends, like, the ones who had never heard about tongue splits were shocked, but I feel like everyone just knows me. <laughs> but I feel like the people that know me weren't even that surprised because that's just the type of person I am. I'm into weird things and I like to do what I like to do. Mm. What did your sons think? So I actually asked my boys before I got it done they're only one and two, so the one-year-old couldn't really answer, but the two-year-old, I said to him, do you want mama to have one tongue or two tongues? And I showed him some videos of people with um, tongue splits doing tricks, and he was like so amused by it. So he told me he wants mama to have two tongues. So I was like, okay, baby, I'm going to do it just for you. And I went and got it done, and then I showed him, showed both of them, and they really loved it. They laugh about it. They, like, it's... I can entertain them one day. I'll just like clap for them. Like, Yay! Things like that. What was it like going from not having visible mods straight to a tongue split? I mean, piercings are mods. I would consider them mods and they're visible. My wrist tattoos are visible. Um, but I guess, you know, you're saying a pretty intense body mod. It feels awesome. My favorite part about it is that it's so hidden. No one ever notices that my tongue is split. Um, so I still look innocent, but I have a tongue split. And did it affect your taste buds? I think I already covered that one. Yes, it did at first, and then they grew back and it's all fine. Does the tongue splitting interfere with the way you talk? Is it harder to, is it harder to pronounce any words? Do you feel you sound different? I don't feel like I sound different and I feel like um, I really was able to start speaking normally again really, really quick. I was expecting it to take a lot longer and I was sending my friends voice notes trying to see if they could understand what I was saying. But I'm like, wow, like you sound amazing. What are the benefits? Um, I'm pretty sure you guys can guess what most of the benefits are. Otherwise, I mean, I have like a third hand. I can pick up food with it. It's just entertaining. I have fun with it myself. It's it's just a really, it's like a personal thing, you know? It's for me, I love it. What are the negatives? I haven't had any negatives, luckily. Did it affect your speech? I covered that one, no it did not. At first, obviously you have to relearn how to talk, but that, you know, that got fixed pretty quick. Can I blow bubbles? At first I couldn't and when I would try to blow, I hope you're talking about gum. Um, so when I would try to blow a bubble with gum, the gum would literally go right in between, like that, right in between the split. Um, and then I just learned, I just kept trying and now I can blow bubbles and I can blow like soap bubbles, if that's what they're called, I can blow those too. Um, can you put it back together and would you? Yeah, basically what they do is they'll burn each side and like re-stitch it or maybe they'll cut it. I guess it just depends on the method that they use and then stitch it back together. Um, you can do it. I would never ever do that. I actually want to get it cut again to get an even deeper split. Okay. All the way down there. What kinds of tricks can you do with it? I've shown in other videos, but I'll show you guys here. I can clap. I can twist them. I can wiggle them. I mean, there's 
like a different wiggle. Like it kind of looks like they're like punching. And I can lick my lips, both sides. That's the wave. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. And then obviously I can pick things up with them. Has it affected your voice? No, it hasn't affected my voice because your tongue, as far as I know, doesn't affect your voice. Maybe I'm wrong, but no, my voice is exactly the same. What's it like having two tongues? Amazing and lots of fun. Um, are they good for kissing? I'm sure they are. How far can it be split? As far as I know, it just depends on your anatomy. Is it true that food and liquids get stuck in the middle? I've never had that happen. Um, so I would say no. Do you bite your tongue more now? At first, I bit my tongue maybe like twice, um, like recently after I got it split. And I was surprised because I normally don't bite my tongue, but since then, no. I guess you just get used to having, you know, two tongues in your mouth. Um, does it grow back? Yes, it can grow back. Uh, I wouldn't say it would grow back all the way, but people do have regrowth. I had about a centimeter of regrowth. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it was like, that's my regrowth. Would you go back in time and do it again? Yeah, definitely. How did you learn to move each side? Basically just wiggling my tongue around. I always, um, I was always able to wiggle my tongue around in different ways. So I expected myself to be able to do a lot more with two tongues. Basically, um, you just look in the mirror and you keep practicing. How was your first and second day? Really exciting, but also super, super painful. And it was really intense. Those first two days were pretty bad. Honestly, the first six days for me were really intense. How far back does the split go in measurements? I don't have anything to measure, but you can take another look. What is the funniest reaction you've gotten to it? Uh, I think when I showed my younger cousin, she kind of like shrieked, she's like, yeah! But um, that was probably it. Otherwise, people are just really interested in it. Do you notice people looking at it but being too shy to ask? No, no one's ever noticed it so far. How much money does it cost to have your tongue split? So if you want to get it done, go and ask a body mod artist that's near you because everyone charges their own price. What was total recovery time? For me, it was a week, maybe two weeks if you really want to push it out, but I would say a week. What are the risks involved in this body mod? So off the top of my head, you can just type in on Google tongue split risks, um, but there's obviously risks of infection, um, it can affect your speech, you can have a lot of bleeding, swelling, there's a lot of risks, just look it up, there's obviously risks with any surgery you do. How does it feel now in terms of the sensations? I think it feels really interesting. Um, I remember the first trick I was trying to do was clapping like this. And I just could not figure it out. And I was so frustrated and I just kept trying and trying. And then your tongue just like, you have to use your mind and just keep playing around. And I just figured it out. It was really cool. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how to move them up and down like this. I'm not really good at it, I'll try.
they both want to move together so I just have to keep practicing that um, is your sense of taste and feeling heightened or decreased or the same my sense of taste is now the same and in terms of feeling I don't really know what you mean but it's it's just the same it's just like having two tongues so more tricks to do um, aesthetically it looks amazing but weren't you scared of the risks no I was not because I trusted my body mod artist and that's all it that's all it is I thought this video would be a lot longer but I feel like I got through the questions pretty fast for you guys and hopefully you liked watching stay tuned for more let me know what other kinds of videos you want to see and I'll record them for you Thanks guys, bye.